One, two, three, four. Yeah, go! Hey everyone, I'm Nano Elite Six Six Six, and you are watching me play the Guild Wars Two Living Story. We are back, continuing on with Chapter Three of Season Four. Long live the Lich! Joining me once again, my intrepid co-host, Mr. Peanuts. Actually, Mr. Rob Slinky specifically, but also Peanut. Yes, one in the same. One in the same. Anyways, we're back after crashing out last night to go and uh, work on helping people out here in Cornamore. So let's get on with that and hope we don't have any more problems. To the frogmen! Is that what's over here, is the frogmen? Yes. Well then, let's go help the frogmen, ladies and gentlemen. First. And I deserve it too. Ooh, supply cash. That is the wrong mount. Ho ho ho. Is that just scenery, or is that actually a thing? Nah, that crystal is just scenery, it would appear. See, I haven't quite figured out what they're supposed to be, because they kind of look like harvesting nodes. Yeah, they do. That's what I, I was looking at. I was like, is that a harvest so, node? So, I'm, I'm wondering if it's something to do with the beetle, but I don't have mine yet. You ask for help, but you won't share food when my people are starving. I'm not a quartermaster. I'm a forward scout. Sunspear. As you were. Commander, this is Chieftain Shapil. Her people are besieged by the Awakened, but she refuses to help us fight them. The Dead Ones took our best warriors, even Killick, my master at arms. We can't hunt for food or fight your war without them. Chieftain, I'll see what I can do about finding your warriors. At last, someone who understands the art of negotiation. Alright, well, we gotta go find Hecate Warriors. We specifically called them Hecate this time. Because Hecate... The caves! Or specifically... The frog people... And I deserve in Alona. Alright. I don't freaking give a Hecate. He doesn't have any Hecates to give. What Not the, one. What the, what the Hecate... Well, there's a bunch of undead inquest in here. Oh, the inquest. Almost like it's a base. Let's see. Let's push the button on the wall. Up that way. If we go after Killick, we can rescue him. First, I must stab these inquests. And take all their spare parts. And I got an achievement for something. Yeah, I've noticed you get lots of just random achievements. Or really, it's more just unlocking the achievements. And... Or something or other. I'm not sure what you're supposed to actually do. I don't know, I haven't really looked through the achievement list all that much yet. I'm gonna open the corn and chest. There was stuff inside. Find Killick, the Master at Arms. Uh oh. He don't look too good. Burn Killick's nah. corpse. He He's looks kind of a 7th grade biology project now. Sorry I didn't get here in time to stop this. Well, we're off to a wonderful start. Everybody's dead? And if they're not dead, they've gotten back up because they're undead. Only if they haven't angered Joko. Anger Joko. Meanwhile, spare parts out the wazoo. I need to find golems. Are you collecting spare parts? Dying. It's for the beetle. Ah. It just amazes me that there are no golems in the inquest base. Uh, 
more achievement turret thing. Spare parts. All right, Scout, what's up? You've brought our hunters and warriors home to us, Commander. I promise Joko will pay for what was done to your master at arms. Your cause is just. I pledge my finest to your war. The least I can do. I'll dispatch them to meet Tribune Ritlock on the front lines. Excellent. Let's all remember, we're in this together. Well, that was quick. That was much less involved oh, than yeah. the uh, helping out at the village. <laughs> Gotta burn all the crops. We won't help you. We don't have warriors. I'll go find your warriors. They're right over here. Yeah. You found our warriors. We'll help you. No, no, not even any mention of Killick being dead. Just, okay, we'll help you. I guess the frogs are easy to please, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my. Well. That means we get to wander all the way back somewhere else. Dust Knights! Do you get to go help pirates? Uh, I guess I get to go help the pirates now. Help the pirates. Help the pirates. Yeah, they're, they're in kind of a bad spot. I would imagine. Can I even get up to that sand portal there? Or is it... You can if you're not a coward. <laughs> there we go. Success. Spare parts go in this crate. That crate? What if I don't want to put spare parts in that crate? Protect the thorn wall from the awakened. You found an event. I have to find a way through the thorn wall. Let's go over it. That's one way. Also, you know, a nice door, but... Unfortunately, there wasn't a door. Who uses doors? There wasn't a door right where the uh, event circle was at. Right on the other side of me. I said, oh. I just want to go here. successfully help defend the thorn wall. Yeah. Now it's time to run Commander. off. You have done your civic duty. Like it. It's time to wander off elsewhere. And I deserve it too. Oh, I have got myself in trouble. Imagine that. In a surprise to absolutely no one. <laughs> Meanwhile, my co-host has wandered off elsewhere to do his own things. Yeah, because... more of just never left the caves. Oh, I see. Because he's already done all this. I know what's gonna happen. He knows. And let me tell you, don't. I am excited. Don't, don't, don't tell me. Don't spoil the surprise. Can't do that. 
Oh, and what a surprise it is. Is it Space Marines? It's Space Marines, no. isn't it? No. Because, oh boy, that would be quite a surprise. That would be a surprise. Okay. I'm near the pirates. Let's go help the pirates. Hello, first mate Gentic. Commander, Captain Slice Lotilla is sinking Joko's ships. But we took a critical hit and washed up here. You're in a plague zone. Dangerous territory for humans. Yeah. We'd already be dead or infected if not for the ghosts. But there are nasty dead things taking them out, too. If you can kill some ghost eaters box. at Morton Crescent Heavies, we might just survive this screw up. But it didn't tell oh, me what event it was for. Our are washing up. Be ashamed to waste them. Got a crazy idea if you can salvage some. We hauled some cannons up the hill. If you rig something up, we could shoot supplies over the walls to the main camp. Sounds like just the sort of plan a Corsair would come up with. Let's give it a try. Okay. Let's go kill a Ghost Eater and a Morton Crescent Intimidator. There's a Ghost Eater! Ghost Eater! You must kill them! Kill them until they are dead once again! Once again, they have been dead. Ghost Eater's dead. Now I need to find this Intimidator. I'm curious. Would the main protagonist of Ghost Eater be Invisa Snake? Did that hurt? I don't know. You don't know. Well, you are no help. I'm sorry. I get it. I get it now. <laughs> Do you get it now? <laughs> I get it now. Ladies and gentlemen, he made a Metal Gear Solid oh. joke. Oh, no. I, di I didn't get it. I didn't get it at first. I didn't think I was being that clever. Obviously, I was. I'm squishing bugs instead of doing the thing that I am supposed to. Mostly because I haven't seen an Intimidator around anywhere. How do you know the squishing bugs isn't what you're supposed to be doing? Because it didn't tell me squish bugs. Didn't tell you. Oh, hi, Orin. Oh, bugs. Orin's torching bugs. Yes, Orin likes to pop up. It makes me feel happy. Squish the bugs. Squish the bugs. Probably get an achievement for this. So I'm going to keep doing it. Squish the bugs. They keep coming back. They keep Squish coming back. Squish them harder. I can't! I can't squish them harder! I'm out with that attitude. I'm squishing as hard as I can! My progress has been undone. I need to find this Intimidator. Oh, there's an Intimidator! Let's kill it! Come back here! Did you intimidate the Intimidator? Uh, if by intimidate you mean stabbed and bludgeoned to death, sure. Theater has returned. There it goes. 
Okay, now I gotta fire supplies from a cannon. That'll be fun. Sounds crazy, but it just might work. Probably will. So. Let's find us some supplies. That crab is a surly crab. Oh boy. Corsair supplies. Does he have a top hat and a monocle? I don't know. Doesn't look like it. So. Oh wait, I can just mount up with the supplies. Yeah, but where's the fun in that? You sure are loud. Yes. Cannons are loud. They tend to do that. I fired one thing of supplies. All right, first mate, Gentic. That ought to keep him for a bit. Of course, they'll require reminding periodically. Much obliged, Commander. All right. Well, that wraps that. Oh up. yeah, that's my loot. I'm brave, you know. Uh oh. Fair. I am here, Commander. The advance hmm. on Gondara has started. Ritlock needs high-grade explosives on the front. Supplies are exhausted. So Farron took it upon himself to raid an enemy encampment. Now he's attempting to deliver to Redlock by himself, beyond the walls. He'll never make it. Damn. I'll head there myself, try to mop up this mess. Farron, what are you doing? Farron, why are you doing? Farron's getting himself in trouble, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go figure out where the hell he went. Oh, Farron. Over that way. Uh, there you go. The necrotic field has fallen. Attack the awakened inquest. I don't know what that means. It means you got a meta. Alas, you must be the meta. I am not meta enough. Disappointed. Instead, I have to go save er Farron. I almost said Aaron. I have to Aaron. go save. I have to go save Farron from whatever nonsense he's getting himself into. Oh, Farron. There's just bug noises all over this place. Imagine that. Joker's doing things with bugs. There's bug noises all over. Looks like I have to go up and in. To me, rabbit! Let us scale these high walls with a mighty bounce! The fool's on death's door, and you could have been killed rescuing him. But I wasn't. And he delivered the explosives we need. I did it. The scarabs almost got me, but the day needed saving. You disobeyed a direct order, Farron. I had to. <sighs> it's true that we're stuck. The bridge towers in front of Joko's fortress make it impossible to approach. Can't start the siege until they're down. Farron's demolition should do the trick. I see. Farron, listen. You did good. For Kryta and Amnon. Timey, I need Kanak and all non-human allies to rally at Jogo's Towers. This is it. We're going in. You got it, Commander. Get Farron patched up into safety. Ritlock, hold the line here. I'll lead the charge. We'll keep the Awakened off your back. Guaranteed. Hi, Rocks. Hi, Queens. What do you have to say? Dala, what's up? You don't look any worse for wear, Commander. Or at least with you. The biggest test is yet to come. I feel the tide turning in our favor. 
My sister and I will be right behind you. I would say war agrees with me quite well. I am Char, after all. War is kind of our shtick. Our army does yeah, only kind of. But Joko's ghost eaters have taken a toll. We faint to draw them away, then strike where they are not. Our survivors are ready for the final push on your command. Form up when you see the towers come down. Okie dokie. Go look at this vista up here. Windows bringing people together. Oh, that's a spooky looking fortress. I remember when it was slightly less spooky looking, it didn't have all the bones and stuff all over it. But then Joko got to redecorating, and you know, one thing leads to another. Yeah, and before that, there was a whole mess with demons and nightfall and shit. And, well, you know. Eh, it's not real. Oh, it was quite real. That doesn't actually happen. We done killed a god. Be my guest, and that's the next instance. Well... half tempted to say, ladies and gentlemen, we should wrap this part up here. A little early, but... But it's a good spot to wrap but, up. You know, it's a good spot to wrap up, right at the right at, right at an instance. Also, Rox, when did you get here? My Olmecon squad and Forever. I got to Farron in time. He's fortunate to be alive. He owes you. And we him. Our wounded are getting patched up. We'll be ready for the siege. Also, your, your, your voice is sounding a bit better after the jarring shift from last time. I still miss the original voice. Yeah. But maybe she just has a cold. Maybe. I mean, that could happen. It could happen. That's a thing with Char, right? Yes. Sure. We'll say that. Bram, what's up, buddy? Heading down to the towers, Commander. Gonna help Canuck set the charges. Give him cover. Let him do his job. Oh, I will. I made a promise to Timey. Bram is decidedly less angsty and angry and sad and grumpy. Bram's back to his old self. He's even got some hair growing. Fritlock, what are you doing? Check Joko's tail, Commander. That's the idea. Joko doesn't have a tail. Farron, buddy. May Lissa aid you. No, you just have idle dialogue. Well, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, this looks like this is going to be... We, we, we are going to wrap this part up, then. So, once again, I thank you all for watching. I hope you have been enjoying. As always, if you have any suggestions or recommendations for games that you think I should play that might make for a good series like this at some point in the future, or if you just wish to give me a help, give me some feed... Give me a help. Give me a shout. Give me some feedback. Let me know how I'm doing. Am I doing good? Am I doing bad? If I'm doing bad, what can I do to go from doing bad to doing good? Learn or, to speak. Um, or if you just wish to inform me that I'm a terrible person because I occasionally forget how to speak properly. The you, worst. The worst. You may inform me of such in the comment box below. PC and PS4 only for recording suggestions as that is all that I can currently record on right now. And as always, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, then please subscribe to the channel. That way you'll be kept up to date whenever I post up new videos and then you won't ever have to miss out on any of the shenanigans that go down in this my little corner of the internet. Also, if you know of anyone else who might enjoy watching this sort of thing, please share this video or one of my other videos with them. Point them in my general direction so maybe they might potentially swing by and be entertained by the shenanigans that go down in this my little corner of the internet. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, once again, I thank you all for watching. I hope you have been enjoying. I'm Nano Elite 666 This has been my co-host, Mr. Peanuts. I've almost got a beetle. He's almost got a beetle. We will see you all next time.